Hello everyone, we're back with the, the Boondocks. Boondocks. This is season one, episode nine. Last episode was all about reality TV. Riley was lying and caught in the lie. They were living in their little pimped out car. <laughs> so let's watch before we start. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a video from us. And this series will be available uncut on our Patreon where we also have early access and other benefits and we also have a Discord. All the links will be in the description. I want young men and young women who are not alive today to know and see that these new privileges and opportunities did not come without somebody suffering and sacrificing for them. Period. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. This episode about to be about him. I have a dream. <laughs> Whatever, nigga. <laughs> <I don't know>. Riley? <laughs> Then, on October 27, 2000, so he years after he was shot, Martin Luther King Jr. came back. <laughs> so they saying he, he was in a coma and came back. Guess who was back? Back again. This is an interesting take on it, though. Can't stop. I won't stop. I don't even know how to stop. <laughs> the voice acting is so good. <laughs> And if attacked, you should turn the other cheek. What? America was out. Traitor? <laughs> the president was very concerned by some comments made by some ex-civil rights leaders. Damn, they taking it too far. Not a kind of lover. He hates America. Zero to a hundred. Y'all gotta be careful now that y'all with him. Already. Oh, that's nonsense. Yeah, boy, <laughs> cotton baboon. Oh, wow. <laughs> of course. Dance there, you goddamn chunky cheek monkey. Ruckus, what the hell is chunky cheek monkey? <laughs> you need to fuck up. Not him saying so called king. <laughs> Look at that bodyguard next to him, though. Goddamn. Black He's been terrorizing y people. I love Jim Crow. I beg your pardon. I love Jim Crow. Why'd you have to go mess with the natural order of things? I'd have shot you myself. But I realized the white man got better aims. Stop that, you crazy. We're going back to my house for dinner. The fact that he said that white people got better aim. We saw everybody else was shooting. He and they said, kept missing. "Turn the other cheek and let me come with you." <laughs> After talking all that crazy nonsense, I'm hungry. Uh, uh, uh Mr. Bus Driver, sir, she, she she ain't moved. How dare you Not refuse snitches. to give up your seat, woman? What are you, some kind of history-making crusader for justice? Uh, yes. We. Oh, He's putting himself into it. it. Yeah. They're ignoring him. Trying to get credit. Cause he said no too. Stay strong, Sister Rosa. That's right. Take us to jail. We're not afraid. Stay out of trouble. Uh... <laughs> They're not intimidated by him at all. Did he say the n-word to him? Mm-mm. No, it sounded. So. He was like, "Stay good." And it sounded like he, he yeah, was trying to. Oh, okay. Like I don't know if he said it under his breath. <laughs> okay, maybe. <laughs> Cause they were throwing that word around back then. That's why he was like, <laughs> stay out of trouble. <laughs> what are you? You don't an look actor? famous. Is you Morgan There's Freeman? Look? No. Boy, are you Morgan crazy. Freeman? You know that's Martin Luther King. Now go clear the dishes. Why can't this Morgan Freeman King do the clear the dishes? Shoot, the nigga just had a free meal. Riley, come here. Get the belt. Mm-hmm. You have just keep eating. In front of Martin Luther King. Booty oh, butt cheeks. Mm. Oh, this is my song. Mm. Hold on. Keep it here. <laughs> what happened to our people? Missed out on four decades of media evolution. Oh, God. Sorry, Mr. White Man. Oh, sorry, Mr. White Man. <laughs> Yeah, Kiwi can get down for this. The real truth. If you ask me if I love America, I say yes. Why can't you say yes? Say you love America right now. The threats. <laughs> yes. Say it. Sir, I will not be. Say it. Or shut up. 
We'll be back with more fair and That's literally how the argument's been going. Because that's not an argument. They want to be right. So then, as soon as they say they get their point across, they'll be like, yep, shut up. He was reminding me of Riley doing that scene. Good. He took matters into his own hands. Why are they giving away tickets to our emergency action plan and meeting on 95.5 WFRK, The Freak? Well, <laughs> you way freak. I thought about what you said about not having enough experience with modern media. So I hired an urban promotions this firm. This is not what it's going to be. It's gonna turn into a little club. It's gonna be a block party. Yeah, they're gonna be turning up. <laughs> Excuse me, bro. Oh, ah! Ah! Pip name, stay back. I'm Martin Luther King. And I'm Malcolm X, nigga. He still ain't getting in here with them <laughs> shoes. Goodness, they be picky though. The king's of comedy, the king of rap, Rodney King, the king of beer, King Kong, Don King. What the fuck? He said a whole lot of nothing. Thank you, white Jesus, for Not making all this possible black shit she possible. She said white Jesus. Amen. Okay. They are so lost. <laughs> then back to drinking and partying. Brothers and sisters, please. <laughs> Shut up. Stop the music. You about to snap. So he did what all great leaders do. He told them the truth. Will you win you and niggas please? <laughs> Ignorance. Niggas love to complain. Niggas love to hear themselves talk, but hate to explain. Ooh, he rhyming. Okay. Spin. Niggas procrastinate until it's time to worry. Uh -huh. Niggas love to be late. Niggas hate to hurry. Ew. Black entertainment. He was reading that as BET. BET. <laughs> Yeah, I'll put that in there. You, you niggas have nothing to celebrate. I know I won't get there with you. I'm going to Canada. Ah? He said, fuck it, I'm out. I'm done. The amount of calls from irate African Americans. And the revolution oh, thanks, finally man. came. That was the catalyst. Yeah. Open the people's eyes. And he done dipped to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> he said, all right, y'all. It's fun to dream. Oh, oh with free oh, elected president? Uh uh. In 2020. In 2020. What were you gonna say? That ain't what president we had in 2020, y'all. Don't think that's any better. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me go back to that part where he was, he was in like the bus. Under his breath. Yes, I think I want to say he. <laughs> While he's walking away. <laughs> they weren't doing that slick shit to guarantee. Yeah, they were. Yeah, I mean, they still do. But, like, goodness. Back then, during that time. Oh, yeah. And you know what else? So, the thing about Rosa Parks, I read it somewhere. I don't know if it's exactly true. But, apparently, before Rosa Parks, there was a woman who also refused to not move from her seat. And the reason why she wasn't, like popular and well-known historically the way Rosa Parks is is that the NAACP did not want to use her as like their image you know of them fighting all this because that she was like a teen mom or she was like pregnant out of wedlock or something like that and she was dark-skinned so that's why they kind of just was like no we don't care but then when Rosa Parks you know she's fair-skinned um, she had a better background that wasn't, um, like, like society-wise, it wasn't out. really, yeah, they couldn't do that. So, like, they used Rosa Parks and stuff, but there was apparently, apparently, I didn't look it up, I didn't do enough research to see if that actually happened. There was someone else who was the first. 
Rosa Parks, I guess, before. Yeah. Before but the Rosa NAACP Parks. was like, girl, you got too much baggage going on. Your life a mess. You don't have the look. Which I don't know if it's true because she was a deeper skin tone than Rosa Parks. If that was the issue as well. But if it, that ends up being true, that's kind of fucked up. But I see why, I guess, because the media would have been like, yeah, they would have oh, her, yeah. look at her. She, yeah, they would have, yeah. But either way, that's how I feel like with um, Granddad. He wasn't getting the attention. This kind of was put aside. Rosa Parks was getting all the attention. But I'm sure even throughout history, there's a lot of people that were not remembered as well as others. And mm -hmm. they did more significant things or they had a better impact. It's just because of whatever they did that is not approved by society. It's, it set them back. That's why it, that's why it reminded me of, dang, saying the N-word is crazy. And that was an interesting take seeing Martin Luther King if, if, he he was to, if he still survived. So that's what I'm saying. Maybe it is a good thing that he... Because when they were explaining it, I was like, he went into a coma. Yeah, that moment I, I said, he woke up. Because I was, like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, thinking oh. maybe he went to a coma and then he passed. passed yeah. 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 But no. but they were like for months. That's why I was like, <laughs> oh, wait, wait. No, we're not reliving the exact moment. We're not really going that route. Yeah. And, um, you, so it definitely makes me think, like, how would it be? He would be incredibly disappointed with the way society is i feel like and it's not just because of how black people are like we have our own culture thing that we made you know we're the blueprint for a lot of things it's just the fact that even with the government and some things with discrimination still have not really changed or it's just more hidden mm -hmm. more low-key now mm -hmm. instead of it being just on the center you know because a lot of racists are now more I want to say a little bit more afraid, but I guess with now, with people like... It's just, they'll have like more of a rep repercussion than they would before. Because now with social media, you can out yeah, people that's and true. that could ruin... But they, they still could do it. Could no, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they still, still do. do it. Even though they know they can lose their job their entire career, they don't care. Sometimes they, they hate they are above it. They're like, okay, whatever. They got the money. Yeah, and they're they just the like, power. I don't care. Yeah, but I mean... And it's like everyone experiences this level of racism. It's not just black people, obviously. Those Yay. that are from minority groups is what I mean. But, and I, yeah, I feel like in that aspect, you would be disappointed the most that nothing's changed. A lot of people are still ignorant. You know, we're all still a li little bit ignorant, some of us too, which I guess would be disappointing even more because like he said, he got beat the F up. He got arrested. He did all this. And it's like, what did, what happened? Like, where's the change? And but I feel like they shouldn't be completely blamed for it. But him dipping to Canada was hilarious, and then him dying there Man, was Cuba. hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> he lived he a good life till he was ninety-one. I want I want them to do a version with Malcolm X too. That would be that would be interesting as well. But yeah, this was a pretty good episode. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.